Lesson 4.9, Word Problem Solving, Addition. We're going to use bar models. Drawing a diagram such as a bar graph can help us solve problems. And the bar graph can help us organize the information and we can see what we know and what we need to find. In a bar graph, the add-ins are written in these boxes and the sum is written below in the bracket. You can even find it written down here below the bracket. And we learned about these back in video 3.5 when we learned about related addition and subtraction facts. That video is in the description in case you need a link. And bar models or bar graphs can help us write an addition sentence. We can write one add end, the whole as the sum, and an empty box for the missing add end. If we have 15 plus something, we write a 15 here, we leave this box empty, and if it's equal to 20, we write the 20 by the bracket. That would be 15 plus some number is equal to 20. Do you know what that would be? We can count on from 15. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That would be 5. 15 plus 5 is equal to 20. And the bar model helped us to write the addition sentence so we could solve it. Miss Cho had 12 markers. She bought more markers. Then she had 17 markers. So how many markers did she buy? And we think we need to find how many markers she bought. We can circle the important information. She had 12. At first, she bought more. We don't know how many more. Then she had 17. And we can write an addition sentence. 12 plus some number is equal to 17. And we can use a little square or any shape really to take the place of the unknown number. We can start at 12 and count on to 17. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's five. That means she bought five more. 12 plus five is equal to 17. That means this little square is equal to five for five markers. We can label a bar model with the numbers we know, then we can write a number sentence with a square for the missing number. Here's our problem. A bookshelf contains 22 mystery books and 18 adventure books. How many books are on the bookshelf? So there's 22 mystery, 18 adventure. We need to know how many there are as a total we can write the addition sentence, 22 plus 18 is equal to this square. And we think 18 only needs two ones to be 20. So we can give two ones from here to the 18 to make a 20. And now that's 20 plus 20. That's easy to add. Do you know what 20 plus 20 is equal to? If you said 40, you're right. That means this square is equal to 40 books. There were 40 books on the bookshelf. There are 16 lollipops in a bowl. Seven of the lollipops are orange and the rest are cherry. So how many lollipops are cherry? We think we need to find the difference between 16 and seven. There's 16 in all, seven of them are orange the difference would be the cherry. We can also think of it as a missing addend for addition because addition and subtraction are related. We can think of it as 16 minus seven is equal to the number of cherry, or we could think seven orange plus the number of cherry is equal to 16. In our bar model, we know there were 16 in all. We also know that seven of the lollipops are orange. Using a related addition sentence to subtraction, we have seven plus some number that is cherry 
is equal to 16 in all. 7 plus the cherry is equal to 16. We need to figure out what this number is that if we add it to 7, it will equal 16. Do you know? If you said 9, you're right. 7 needs 3 more to be a 10. Now we're at 10, we need 6 more to be 16. We add the 3 and the 6 together, that's 9. That's 9 cherry lollipops in the bowl. This problem says there are 3 plates of brownies. There are 15 brownies on each of the first two plates. There are 40 brownies in all. How many brownies are on the third plate? So now we have three boxes in our bar graph. We have plate one, plate two, plate three, and they're equal to how many brownies in all? We know it says there are 15 brownies on each of the first two plates. That means there's 15 on this plate, 15 on this plate, and it's telling us that there's 40 brownies in all. We need to find this missing add end. We can write an addition sentence, 15 plus 15 plus that square is equal to 40. We can add 15 plus 15. We've got 5 plus 5 is 10, and another 10, that's 20, and another 10, that's 30. We can double check it by stacking them. 5 plus 5 is 10. We regroup the 10, put the 0 down, and we have three tens. So that's 30. But there's 40 in all. So how many could be here? 30 plus some number is equal to 40. If you said 10, you're right. 30 plus 10 is equal to 40. There must be 10 on the third plate. And our little square in our number sentence, our equation, is equal to 10. Sanjay has 17 crayons and 3 pencils. He buys 30 more crayons. How many crayons does he have now? We think, let's circle the important information. What are we looking for? We're looking for how many crayons he has now. He has 17 crayons. He buys 30 more. That means we're going to add 17 and 30. We have to be very careful if there's unnecessary information that's information that's not needed, do we need to know he has three pencils? No, we don't. It's not important. We know he had 17 crayons. He bought 30 more. So how many does he have now? We can write a number sentence, an equation. 17 plus 30 is equal to some number. We have 17, and we're just adding three tens to it. We could do this with mental math. One ten and three tens is four tens. We still have the seven ones. That means he's got 47 crayons. And the little square is equal to 47. Dave read a total of 31 pages. He read 11 pages each on Monday and Tuesday. He read the rest on Wednesday. So how many pages did he read on Wednesday? Well, we know he read a total of 31. We know he read 11 pages each on Monday and Tuesday. So our bar model has three boxes here. He read 11 on Monday and 11 on Tuesday. That's 11 each. We need to find Wednesday. So our number sentence, our equation is 11 plus 11 plus some number is equal to 31. We can add 11 plus 11 using mental math. That would be 22. So 22 plus some number is equal to 31. We can count on. We could use counters. 
We have 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. That's nine. That means he must have read nine pages on Wednesday. So that little square is equal to nine for nine pages. We can use all types of diagrams to help us. We can draw quick pictures. We can use a bar graph or bar model. This is a quick note to the parents. By using a square like this to represent an unknown amount, we prepare our children to use variables such as n, x, or y for unknown amounts in algebra. And that's coming up sooner than you think. In third grade, we're gonna use the letter N to represent an unknown amount. So our next lesson, 4.10, we're gonna write equations, those are number sentences, to represent addition. Have a really great day, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.